And welcome to Tea Talk Toronto. I'm your girl, Naim Kunakal, as we sip and spill the tea on this lovely Tuesday. How are you doing? I am here to talk to you guys. Candy is selling ice for $4. <laughs> No, no, that's the thing that is going wrong on social media. Um, a lawyer shows receipt and he also posts calling Candy fix the ghetto ass itch. Like, you know, he spent $30 for two Hennessy, $4 for two rock, he hamburgers, whatever, whatever. The bill come up to $72.50 something cents. He start drug the guilt. And I guess the, I think he's, um, Twice they haven't passed the health inspection. This is the restaurant blaze, okay? So they're under a lot of um thing. Don't get me wrong, I love candy, I love Todd. I I love listen, I have nothing against anybody. Everyone is trying, like you know, it is what it is, but sometimes you have to have passion for things too, you know what I mean? So I don't know what's happening. People are complaining the food are awful, you know, they have old lady gang restaurant as well. And I mean, oh gosh. Oh gosh, easy now, man. But hey, it is what it is. Listen, when I look cooking and other thing, that's why I tell people I don't cook. I only know I could cook for certain limitation and make certain things. When I look at me, I make a little dinner, sit down and enjoy with all you. I'll even dress up and sit at the table. What? I'm like the appetizer <laughs> or the dessert. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Let me move on. <laughs> My, get your mind off the gutter. Okay. Anyway, so that's the situation that is happening with her. Um, she's an entrepreneur, businesswoman, you don't know. I heard she owed 20K to the IRS. I'm like, lad, Candy. No, you're the same one that he dragging for it. Is it Phaedra? <laughs> this is a business. This is why I have to come out and look proper. Let us see the lighting and everything. I had to invest everything. Hey, hey, come on. Are you not looking better now? <laughs> Sometimes I come on, I'm, I'm blurry, I'm orange. You can't even see me. But I so appreciate you guys sticking around because you guys understand. This is a lot of work. And at least I'm trying. And I always say, Nelson Mandela says, it always seems impossible until it's done. So it's Tuesday and I'm eternally thankful all the time you know i didn't say my quote today let me give a little quote come on <clears throat> okay so my girlfriend sent me the one on the top oh yes yeah, she's 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 on this okay she don't play if i don't do a video she always call me what's wrong with you i'm like girl i need to chill she's like mm -mm, we need to hear what you have to say about this <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so just because two people had the same person doesn't mean they had the same person. It's true. I could be with someone, you would be with someone, the way they treat me is totally different from the way they treat you. The way they treat you is totally different. Even me, I'd probably be with someone and I show up like Nicole, and then next day I show up like Naimka. They probably like Naimka more than Nicole. I don't know, I'm just saying. It is what it is feel people energy it's not everybody that you bond with the same you know and it's the same thing that is happening with Courtney but we'll talk about all that mm -hmm. the second quote don't carry your mistakes around with you instead place them under your feet and use them as stepping stone to rise above yeah sometimes you just have to let go it is what it is and do not hold on to um grudges I think what does happen to people sometimes if something happened and it doesn't work out, move down. It is what it is. You also have to remember, I think sometimes for we women, we just forget these men being with other women beside us. So why we think they come with us, we're going to change them. Vice versa. I've been with people before you. So what make you think that you're going to change me? You got to come 10 times better than what I just left. You have to replace all that. You, you know what I mean? You cannot come and have me remembering why I left ABC. Because now I'm seeing signs in you that remind me. Bye. Bye. I'm gone. <laughs> okay. So these are the things. Don't carry around your mistakes with you. Okay. Mm, she's engaged. They have good sex, eh? I can tell. Look, look, look. Look at this. No, you can tell when people have good sex. Look at this. <laughs> And the bathroom stall him just hold her up and lean up a while. See all them tat today? Blink 182. Yes, uh, that's the drama, Travis. Uh, look at the ring million dollars. 
my cubic zucchini <laughs> probably cost thirty nine ninety nine, but I have a ring for you. The man sent me a photo on my birthday too, you know. And I tell me because you know why he did that? He was getting evicted out of his housing, and I didn't want him to live with me. Your yeah, big want his ring. He decided <laughs> he gonna give it to someone else. I'm like, me the best woman win. Next thing I get a phone call, and I'm like, girl, I'm sure you read all the texts and no say he's cheating on me with you but since you want to act like an idiot you can have him i didn't hear from them again <laughs> until about 2021 when he need help with child support as we sip and spill the tea yes i don't care i'm saying whatever i feel when i feel how i want this is my story i could drop it anytime mm -hmm. back to courtney <laughs> So this is her ex-boyfriend, Scott. And people are saying that, oh, he's upset, he's depressed, he's whatever. Please. Scott was a hot mess, okay, when Courtney uh, was dating him. However, I think he was really good for the show because he brings so much ratings. I remember she always have to worry, is he drunk, is he this, is he that, Scott did. He, he tried to marry her many times. She said no. She continued to have his babies, though. I tell her, you, we women, <laughs> we <laughs> I'm the opposite. I'm sleeping with you. And if you have signs, I'm not having your kid. You're mad. I am taking morning after pill, birth control, all kind of thing in one for your ass. Nope. Yeah, holy me. Uh -uh. Especially if you have certain pattern of behavior. I tell you, you couldn't have six kids out there with the same story. Different women, same story. Ending up in child support court and then come and impregnate me. What make you think I dumb? <laughs> Family, le, 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 le. I'm a ring. As we sip and spill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, um, I don't think Scott care. I think as human, maybe he just has a little emotions. But in the sense of outrage and stuff, no, he used to date Lionel Richie daughter. He dated Lisa Renner daughter. Like, Scott is another disgusting one. Old in all, all ass Scott. Dating 19 year old. Mm hmm. It is what it is. That's why me, I have my girl child 15 years old. I have to watch all you because no, I come into all your house. Don't come here. But just to know. All right. This is um, uh, Travis. Okay. Him. Oh, God. I always messing up. Him. You know, that's his ex wife. Okay. They've been divorced for over four years now or whenever. They've been married, apparently, for four years. I think it's. 2008 or something they've been the point is she's taking a temporarily she's temporarily closed for spiritual maintenance she was the same one who came out and said kim kardashian used to date she was the same one who come out and said kim kardashian used to date um travis back in the days when i guess she was um assistant for Paris Hilton, remember that? And stuff like that. But he claimed that is not true. Um, she's just messy. Um, she just needs to get over it. Like I says, it is what it is. You got to move on, okay? You can tell your story if you want to tell your story, but you can't be so bitter. Like, let it go. You guys been together. It was fun. He moved on. That's it. I tell people, you... A man is not your oxygen tank. A woman is not the oxygen tank. You can breed without us and we can breed without you. Yes, when you get into a relationship, it's nice. It's the emotions. It's the feeling. But keep in mind, I always say, I have two kids, okay? And if I could walk away from baby father number one, I can walk away from anybody. I was also married. And if I could walk away from that after what, eight years? Eight, nine, almost, I don't even remember. I don't even care. I could walk away from anybody. There is nothing you can give me that I cannot give myself. Are you kidding? What? A big day? <laughs> I go in Dong Tong and buy one. <laughs> yes! Why oh, order one on Amazon? Get back out of here. Anyways, she had a... Mm. Nope, I just got thirsty. All you know who that is, right? Baxa Asuka. De la Hoya. Yes, that's your baby father. She has a kid with him. She has an older daughter. I forget. 20 something. I don't know. Yeah. Those are men. Those are my girl. 
You're fretting over Travis and Courtney. That's the Kardashians. That's what they do. <laughs> That's just a, who knows? Chris Jenner is probably um, working for a reality um, thing right now. I'm watching because I love all that tattoo and all that. Because I know they have good sex. You can tell us. She happy. She didn't. She neck lean back. All kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, this is not about me. But again, like I said, oh gosh, I forget to tell her about Ye. Can you change his name too? To Ye. It's official, okay? Ye. Like PDD, DD, whatever, whatever. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make here is when you're in a relationship, regardless of what it is and how it ended, if you cannot be civilized and you try to be civilized with the person and you realize that you're working, time to walk away. I guarantee you there will come a time in life, and I always say, karma, I'm going to get them. Revenge is a dish served better when it's cold. Sometimes you don't have to do nothing. Just sit back and watch like me. I didn't do shit. For five years, I even forget these people exist. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm like, what? How much kids you got? With who? Lies, lies, lies until I uncover the truth. I'm like, mm-mm. Let's see on this lovely Tuesday. I will be back Friday because I love to do Fantastic Friday. But for sure, you can't miss Sunday because Sunday is going to be sex. Lies, blindside, betray, backstab, and my BMW. Where my BMW there? Sim Simmer. Who got the key to my baby? It's been five years, pussy. Five years, me give you. Now me gonna chat you and drag you. Bye, y'all, as we sip and spill it. Now we end with a little lady side again. <laughs> Yeah.